Welcome to High School AP Biology, the Immune System Cram Course. Today, I'm going to talk about the immune response. If you have not done so already, um, we have a mobile app designated for this course, and it's called AP Biology, the Immune System Study App. In this uh, mobile application, we have lectures, flashcards, and quizzes. The course is completely free, so you can download the app whenever you want, free of charge, and it is available on both um, iPhone and Android. So before describing what a immune response is, um, I would like to define two very important um, definition for you. First one is what we called an antigen. So what is antigen? It is a molecule that provokes a specific immune response that are usually foreign to the body. Now, the second term that I would like to define for you is the antibodies. So the antibodies is um, the result uh, when the immune system successfully respond to the antigens. So um, let's just say the antigens are the enemies of the immune system and the antibodies are what is produced by the immune system to um, defend against these enemy invasion. So there are like two types of um, immunity. So the first one is called the active immunity. So in this case, what the immune response is that when the body is being exposed to pathogens, antigens are successfully created. So the second immunity is called the passive immunity. This immunity is when um, uh, an immune from a particular bacteria or virus is gained through some other methods than producing antibodies from your own body. An example of this is uh, having vaccine injection into your body to prevent a certain um, virus strain from invading your body and, and uh, having adverse effects um, uh, on your body. So cells in the immune response system, well generally there are two types two general types of cells, which is the T cells and B cells. Within the T cell, there are three types. So first of all, what does T cells generally do? T cells generally produces cell-mediated immune response. The first type of T cells, which is the helper T cell, detects infection and triggers B cells and T cells to respond. The second type of T cells, or what is also known as the suppressor T cell, terminates the immune response after an infection. The third type of T cells is called the toxic T cells. These cells are 
basically the job is to kill off the infected cells. So after talking about the T cells, let's talk about the other type, the cells in the immune response system. So and that's called the B cells. What B cells does is that it marks a foreign microbe for destruction by the macrophages and the killer cells. So how does it do it is that um, they bind to a free unprocessed antibodies and uh, then it triggers antibody production in the plasma. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.